When I lived in San Francisco back in the mid 90s, we lived in this Quonset hut, old warehouse space that we had kind of turned into lofts. And uh, we just got this new roommate and we we're sitting around one night getting to know him. His name is Nicholas and uh, telling stories, kind of embarrassing stories. And I was like, I, I got a pretty good story. And the story I told was about this uh, girl that I had met when I was uh, going to art school in a uh, life drawing class. She, uh, she was an artist model and she would come in. Um, I'd seen her throughout the years, never really met her, kind of just kind of knew her. And one night she brought a guitar in and I was like, hey, you know, started t chatting with her because I was into playing guitar at the time and we started chatting. And turns out like when she was a kid, she had had lessons from Carlos Santana just because she um, wrote him a letter and said, hey, I really like the way you play guitar. Can I get lessons from you? And he, he agreed. <laughs> so um, anyways, we, uh, we ended up getting together, playing music, writing songs. Um, and after some time, she started dating my friend Christopher, um, amazing painter. Uh, he, uh, he and her ended up moving in with each other and uh, the three of us were pretty close friends and some time passed and one day I got a call and she says, hey, have you heard from Christopher? He's been missing for a couple days and like he took off without his wallet, his keys or anything. It's like he's just gone. I'm like, I haven't heard from him and, and then we were both all freaked out. Weeks passed, never heard from him. Um, months passed, still missing. And one day I get a call from her and says, hey, this is a little awkward uh, request, but I have this job. It's for um, the cover of a medical journal. And it's a, uh, I was gonna model for it and Christopher was gonna model with me. I think we we're supposed to be kissing and would you be willing to like do the job with me? Cause I need somebody to do it with and I need the money. And uh, I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so we go to this photo studio, get in front of the photographer, lights start flashing and like we're making out and it was like chemistry was awesome. Totally getting into it. And then he's like, take, can you take your tops off? And then, you know, we're like topless and like making out. And it was probably one of the most surreal experiences I've ever had. Um, and then after the photo shoot, we uh, kind of, it was like all of a sudden we were in a relationship. Uh, yeah, it was very weird. So we're still playing music, hanging out. Um, a few months go by and then I get a phone call and it's Christopher. And he's like furious with me. Dude, why did you like steal my girlfriend? I'm like, dude, you totally like, we thought you were dead. You were like <laughs> gone, right? And uh, so that kind of ended the relationship with this girl and I. and. Uh, Time passes, one day I go out to the mailbox, open it up, and there's a manila envelope. Open it up, and it's a magazine, and, and uh, this girl and I are on the cover of the magazine, and it's definitely not a medical journal, right? <laughs> I'm telling this story to Nicholas, and Nicholas kind of has a look Kind of like your face. <laughs> he, he's like, what the fuck? And I was like, no, no, this is a true story. Like, I was like he didn't believe me. So he stomps out of the room, comes back in, and he's carrying a magazine. And he slaps it down, and it's the same magazine, Sex Life magazine, only he's on the cover. We're both on the same, on the cover of the same magazine, different, different editions, and we never had met each other. Like we're just getting to know each other. 
what 